got your fossil generation 6, so these are the settings that you should consider changing first. If you think your fossil gen 6 is a bit slow, you can make it a bit snappy by changing these settings. For that, go into settings and here scroll down. Now tap on system and choose about. Here you will see build number. Tap multiple times on build number to turn on developer mode. After that, go back and now you will see developer mode. Just tap it and scroll down. Here you will see window animation scale and transition animation scale. Just change both of them to 0.5x and notice if there is any difference while moving across watch user interface. Moving on to the next thing, it is related to gestures. So by default, raise to wake feature is turned off. You can turn it on by going into settings and then tap on gestures. Here you will see this first option, just enable it. Also you can scroll down and tap on for navigation and enable wrist gestures. With this option being turned on, you can open menu of smartwatch just by your wrist movement. Next we will talk about some settings related to display. So by default, the smartwatch has three options for screen timeout like 5, 10 and 15 seconds. For a lot of people this time is not enough to read all the information on the display. For example, on an informative watch face. So you need to install an app from the Google Play Store which is still lit for Wear OS. This is a paid application but I think so it is worth the price. Here you can change screen timeout from 5 seconds to unlimited. Well, I will not suggest that as it will drain battery life on your smartwatch. Moving on to the next setting which is related to heart rate monitoring. So open cardiogram application, press in here and scroll down. Now tap on settings and here you can change after how much time the smartwatch measures your heart rate. So I have set it to 3 minutes which is a nice balance between heart rate monitoring and battery life but you can choose according to your desire. Next we have a new sensor on fossil generation 6 which is SPO2 monitor and there was no setting present with the smartwatch where I could change the frequency of blood oxygen measurement reading. But anyways, I have found a simple way to take faster reading. So if you swipe here on the main screen, you can place blood oxygen tile just next to your watch face. And in this way, you can take a quick reading without wasting any time. At the end, I have some tips for better battery life. So go into settings and here tap on display and choose adjust brightness. You can keep the brightness in middle for better battery life and make sure that Always on display mode is turned off. Now go back and tap on general present here and make sure that auto launch media control toggle is also turned off. Also you can turn off Wi-Fi and NFC if you don't use that but internet on your smartwatch like for Google Assistant will work using your phone's Bluetooth connection. So guys these were some settings that you should consider changing on your fossil generation 6 and that was about it for today's episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.